Our hurricane models have trended the wrong direction today, with many now showing a landfalling hurricane in the Carolinas. Not good. But is this gonna be a problem or is this all just hype? Let's take a look right now. Taking a look at where future storm Imelda is right now, it's sitting over Puerto Rico right there. That's where the center is, but it's still over a thousand miles away from the U.S. coastline. And if we zoom in, future storm Imelda is looking ridiculously healthy tonight. We've got showers and storms on the west side, on the east side, and a lot of lightning as well, which indicates strengthening. Now, the big question that everyone wants to know is how strong is it going to get and where will it impact? And right now, the Euro model has this thing getting to become a hurricane and eventually slams it into the Carolina coastline right near Myrtle Beach. Same thing with the GFS. It also has it becoming a hurricane and hitting the South Carolina coastline. And if you take a look at all the hurricane models that we have, pretty much all of these models have this thing tracking at the Carolina coastline or a couple of them have it going into Georgia. Now in terms of intensity, this is the tricky part. How strong is Imelda going to get? And the majority of the models right now have it remaining at or just below category one hurricane strength or a strong tropical storm. But this far out, intensity forecast aren't great. You got to really pay attention to the short-term trends to know how strong this is going to get. But a hurricane is certainly possible. Now, something we have to watch very closely is if Imelda does strengthen into a hurricane like the GFS says it will, and then if it hits in the Carolina coastline, notice how it goes inland right there. It could sit in inland parts of the Carolinas and Georgia for a couple of days here, and that could bring a rain tuttles, and that could drop several inches of rain. Places like Charleston, Columbia, Asheville, North Carolina, all could be dealing with big time flooding. In terms of timing Imelda out, it's going to get organized during the day on Sunday, and then move towards the coastline Monday. Monday afternoon into Monday evening, and then potentially move on shore Tuesday early morning. So Sunday night through Tuesday are the days you got to be weather aware if you're along the southeast coastline. And the even crazier part is we could have another hurricane coming behind it, Hurricane Humberto. But that is likely to steer away from the coast and follow a similar path to Hurricane Aaron. So that's good news. All right, my TikTok brother, and I'm going to be watching these systems like a hawk. So thank you for watching. Make sure you follow me here on TikTok. More videos to come. Huge shout out to Weatherfront for the awesome graphics and radar. Stormcat 5, and I'll see you on the next one.